Surprise, surprise! <laughs> because everyone is expecting Father Ken to be our, our celebrant for the midnight mass. <laughs> but because our God is full of surprises, so Father Ken just messaged me the early this morning. We will switch because you haven't had, had experience the midnight mass at St. Margaret Mary. So this is my first midnight mass with you. <laughs> and I'm very happy because many of the gifts are named Father Ken. I only have three. Because they all expected that it would be Father Ken, so they have to bring the gifts. But you know, in behalf of Father Ken, I really extending our thanks for all your gifts and for all your cards. I wish to answer them, but it's more than 300, so I better not. <laughs> because if I will use you know, your gift to reply all those 300, I would rather keep it and add to, uh, you know, to our place back in the Philippines. But my dear friends, kidding aside, you know what makes your Christmas card beautiful? Not the glitters, not the pictures, not the message in it, but rather the love that goes with it, makes your cards beautiful. And I was so touched from the heart because for love, God came as light to dispel our darkness. And I would like to ask you, how does it feel to be in the midst of darkness? What are your feelings? Fear, afraid perhaps, confused, lost, abandoned, neglected, and so on and so forth. But when you began to see the light, how does it feel? Do you feel the joy coming out from your heart? Gladness, gratitude, happiness, bliss, satisfaction, and so on and so forth. My dear brothers and sisters, Christ comes to bring light into the darkness that surrounds us. This is what our first reading clearly tells us today. Christ as light is also the reason why we put Christmas decors with bright colors all around us. It is Christ that we are reminded of when we light candles and adorn our homes and halls with Christmas lights. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The prophet Isaiah said it very well for us. That is why St. Paul calls the Christians of his time children of the light. Now the light of Jesus Christ is not the one that fades, is consumed, and eventually dies. For Christ Jesus chose it best to be the flesh and blood, to be one with us, at all times, an Emmanuel, in order to affect the salvation promised for his faithful people, for you and me, and all of us. As St. Paul would say to Titus <laughs> on the second reading, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires. Now, our waiting is over. We are no longer supposed to be grouping in the dark. For Christ, our light, is here with us. So it has to be Jesus 
who will light and guide our path. Christmas seems not complete if I will not mention Santa Claus. But let me share with you why Jesus as our light is better than Santa Claus. Santa lives in North Pole. Jesus is everywhere. Santa rides in a sleigh. Jesus rides on the wind and walks on the water. Santa comes but once a year. Jesus is an ever-present help. Santa fills your stockings with goodness. Jesus supplies all your needs. Santa comes down your chimney uninvited. <laughs> Jesus stands at your door and knocks. And then he, en he enters your heart. You have to stand in line to see Santa. Jesus is as close as the mention of his name. Santa lets you sit on his lap. Jesus lets you rest in his arms. Come to me, all you that labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, and I will give you rest. Santa doesn't know your name. All he can say is, Hi, little boy. <laughs> Hi, little girl. What's your name? Jesus knew our name before we did. Not only does he know our name, he knows our addresses too. He knows our history and future and even knows how many hairs are on our heads. Santa has a belly like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> Jesus has a heart full of love. Santa says, all Santa can offer is ho, 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 ho. Jesus offers help, help, and hope. Santa says, you better not cry. You better not pop. You better not cry. I'm telling you why. But Jesus says, cast all your cares on me, for I care for you. Santa's little helpers make toys. Jesus makes new life, mends wounded hearts, repairs broken homes, and builds mansions in heaven. Santa may make you chuckle, but Jesus gives you joy that is your strength. While Santa puts gifts under your tree, Jesus became our gift and died on the tree. So it's obvious there is really no comparison. Jesus is way up and beyond Santa. Yet we need to remember who Christmas is all about. Jesus is the reason for the season. That's why he comes to light and to be our light. That's why our greetings should not only be happy holidays, but rather Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. With Father Ken in his name, I greet you. Merry Christmas. Oh, I told the world that you will not respond. I will cry. <laughs>